Hi, so I hope that you enjoyed that rainstorm and watching the choir do that. Wasn't that so amazing how they sounded just like a rainstorm, especially with like the thunder. It was so realistic, right? So cool. So this last song that I want to teach you is called The Red Umbrella. It's a story about a person who thought they had their red umbrella, but then they realized they left it on the train. But it was gonna rain that day, but they forgot their red umbrella on the train. So now they're gonna get all wet, but that's okay. Cause it's just water. But here is my song. I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. I wish I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. I think it's gonna rain today. I'm sure it's gonna rain. I wish I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. So you see, they were sure it was gonna rain, so they brought their red umbrella, but then they left it on the train. Bummer. Does this melody sound familiar to any of you? You might be familiar with the song Auld Lang Syne, which is a folk song from Scotland that many people sing around New Year to bring in the new year. For old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind should old acquaintance be forgot. An old lang syne. It sounds kind of like that, but instead it's got different words. It's about a red umbrella on a train because it's a rainy day. So I thought this song was fitting. So I'm going to sing it one more time and I want you to listen. And if you know the melody, please hum along and listen to the words and see if you can get some of the words too. I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. My red umbrella, now I think it's gonna rain. I think it's gonna rain today. I'm sure it's gonna rain. I wish I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. Try actually, I'm not even gonna say the words this time. I just wanna hum the song with you. Mm -hmm. Here's our starting note. Hum along with me. Mm Very good. Thank you for singing with me. And now the words. We start with we brought our red umbrella, but we left it on the train. And then we start talking about the rain. We think it's going to rain. And then we eventually get back to leaving the red umbrella on the train. So it, the words are just, I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. Can you say that? I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. I lost my red umbrella. Now I think it's going to rain. I lost my red umbrella. Now I think it's going to rain. And then we say that again. I think it's going to rain today. I'm sure it's going to rain. I wish I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. Listen one more time just to the words. I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. I lost my red umbrella. Now I think it's gonna rain. I think it's gonna rain today. I'm sure it's gonna rain. I wish I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. Now, try singing it with me.
if you don't, if you're still not sure the words, because, you know, the words are, can be kind of tricky to learn, just hum along with me again, and then you'll have a chance on the next page. You can try singing along and practice singing the song with me. So here it is with the words. I brought my red umbrella, but I left it on the train. I lost my red umbrella, now I think it's gonna rain. I think it's gonna rain today, I'm sure it's gonna rain. I hadn't left my red umbrella on the train. Very good. Now this happens to be one of my favorite songs to sing because I just think it's so beautiful and it fits so nicely in the range of our voices. And it is even fun to have some other notes as well and some like background music because singing it just by yourself it's nice it's fun it sounds lovely you sound lovely but it can also be fun to add some more music to it so that's what i did i did a little bit of something special on the next page you can go and listen and there'll be four different voices of me singing different notes and then there'll be the one in the middle is the melody that we just learned that you can sing along with okay so that will be a fun chance for you to practice singing the song and listen to it and hear it in a different way. And then after you've done that, the last thing I need you to do to show me that you've gone through all the pages of this activity, you watched all the videos, you had a good time hopefully, and then you're going to share. I want to know what's your favorite rainy day activity? It could be watching a movie, playing cards, playing a game, maybe doing a puzzle, reading a book, it could be anything. What is your favorite thing to do when you have a rainy day and you have to stay inside? Or maybe you like going outside and putting on your rain boots and splashing around in the puddles. That could be your favorite rainy day activity. So on the last page, you can write or you can record telling me what is your favorite rainy day activity. Thanks friends.